all right so i have just opened a brand new power bi file and my target now first of all my target now is to fetch all that data bring all that data that I, was, that I was just having in excel into power bi and you can do that right here but let us close this pop-up panel here and we can simply down download that download our data from this toolbar here so you can see that in this get data we have multiple options so we can do that from excel from power bi data sets or data these are you know these data words in sql server these are different type of databases so our eventual target when we are working in, a, in any company should be to connect our database to power bi so that we can always get our latest data from our database but at this moment i will keep it simple and i will just get my data from my excel file and for that i will just click here on this excel workbook here and now on i need to tell power bi that which file is the one which contains my data so i'll click on this one here the one which says data and i will click ok and it will just take a moment and you know just give it a second and now you can see that i have all those that information available in this sheet here so my table you know my excel file contained a sheet for gl that is here it also contained a sheet for territory it also contained a sheet for calendar and there was another one for chart of accounts so you will notice that we have all of this information duplicated so we have information in this uh, without writing tbl and in this different icon and then we also have this information available here with this different icon and with the word tbl so basically in excel you can simply store your data in a sheet or you can create a table around that so we have created a table and that should actually be done so if you know the table you will understand that but if you do not understand that please please skip that step and simply move on with my file at this moment so i will click on tbl calendar that is something i want to bring next i will click on tbl chart of accounts next tbl gl and next tbl territory now we are skipping two tables here the first one is tbl cf and tbl soce so this is basically cash flow and statement of changes in equity structure we will bring that in later on when we need that at this moment we do not need that and you did not notice these two tables in excel because i had hided that so we will only work with these four at this moment and later on when we move on to prepare our cash flow statement and statement of changes in equity we will also bring these two in but for now the calendar chart of accounts territory and gl and once we are done we'll click on load now you can also go to transform if you need to make some modifications with your data uh, we will talk about that later at this moment my data is already neat and clean and all sort sorted in excel so we don't have to do anything i will simply click on load and x power bi will bring all that data into my power bi system here okay so it is loading so please give it a moment all right so all my data is now available in my power bi and you can notice that i have these four tables available here on my right hand now you will notice that we have three icons here these three icons serve a very different purpose this one the first one we will be building all our dashboards here all our visuals and reports here the second one here this is the area where you can see your data you can you will go there and you will see all the data you know that you have just uploaded so if i just have to uh, navigate between the sheets i will click here calendar and then we have chart of accounts you can see that data as well i have gl you can see that data and you can also see the territory so we have all that uh, four tables that are now available in power bi but as we discussed in the data introduction part that our system does not really know that these four tables are interconnected so in the databases there must be links but now we have extracted those data in four separate tables in power bi or even in excel so our system does not know our power bi does not know that these four are interconnected and we have to manually create those relationships and that part is this third icon here which is called data model or data modeling so first of all let us hide this field here and now you will notice that we have let me a little bit you know let me arrange that in a better order and if i can just bring that one here as well 
so this is now on one screen perfect so now you will notice that excel has or uh, power bi has already uh, established one relationship here and that is this one so tbl territory has been connected to gl and if i just hover over this one i will just you know zoom on this one you will notice that it is also highlighting that which two fields are connected territory key has been connected with territory key which is completely all right and this one is also linked here automatically the account key has been linked with account key and that is also perfect so one more thing one more relationship that we need to create is to you know create the link with the state and the state here so i'll just click on this one keep it clicked and you know i will just drag it this one here and now my system will establish a relationship for me and if you if i just click on this one you will notice that the date has now been connected with date so let's repeat it again this is a relationship between date and date this is a relationship between account key and account key and this is a relationship between territory key and territory key so now this way my gl is now connected with all these three different tables which means that if i have to analyze my gl by calendar dates or by year or by month i can do that if I have to analyze my GL based on different uh, reports, I mean the balance sheet or PL or by account, I can do that as well. And if I have to classify or analyze my uh, GL on the basis of territory, I can do that as well. So with a click of a button, I will be able to, you know, uh, uh, change my views of GL or all the reports that are based on GL for different countries so you know this link will definitely mean that now i will be able to sort my gl just by a click of button and it will change the data for a different country we, we are going to do that later in this course in in just a few moments okay so that is the simple data model but before we move forward we always have to you know whenever you upload some data into power bi you will always have to make sure that there are some uh, you know there are some quality checks that you need to do so first thing do you notice that there is an aggregation sign alongside this year here so excel will you know try to uh, sorry power bi will actually aggregate the year on the basis it, the symbol shows that it will try to sum this year here so what i need to do is that i'll click here and i will go on properties and in this uh, properties panel here i need to make a modification and that modification is in the advanced part here it says sum summarized by sum so i will say do not uh, no sum basically i would say that none there should not be any summarization based on this tool and once we have done that you will notice that this aggregation sign has been removed so i will just hide this here and you will also notice a similar sign here with the entry number that was basically our entry that was the line item in the gl so we do not need any kind of aggregation on the basis of that as well so i will click here again i will go to properties and i will go to advanced here and i will say in this advanced part the summarized by should be none so there should not be any summarization by that as well and you can see that this sign has also been removed and finally we have to make similar adjustment for the country as well so whenever you are giving location in your table you have to tell power bi specifically that if it is a country or a city or a zip code you know so that system can uh, automatically understand the maps when you are drawing any so i will go to this field here and i will click on this properties and again in the advanced part I will go to this you know this uh, data category so I will go to this data category and in this here you can see that we have an option of this country here so I'll select the country and similarly I will go to the second part that is region so in my case the region was basically uh, the region was basically a continent so I will select continent for that so that my system can uh, draw the map accordingly and finally this territory key we do not need to do anything for that so you could you will notice that there is a map sign here so this basically shows you that this uh, field is representing a liquidation so this is basically a standard whenever you bring in your data into power bi you will have to adjust these two two things so you will have to make sure that there is no field that is you know a kind of uh, uh, there is no aggregation on a relevant field so there should be aggregation on the amounts but there should not be aggregation on the fields like line number or account key or any key, other key 
similarly if you are using any uh, locations or countries or regions you will have to tell power bi for that as well and finally let us talk about one more thing and that is this date so this date here should be you know uh, so this date should be assigned as date in the system and there should be a proper format that should be given for that so for this one you will notice that there is already a calendar icon here so system already knows that this one is a date but still i need to check the format so i will click on this field and i will go to the properties and in this properties i will you know uh, go down and I will see that what is the format here so the format is given as day and then month and date and year so I don't want really I don't want the date day here so I will just simply go there and I will select on this one that is month date year a simple short format so this one is fine now and I will do the similar thing for this date here as well so I'll select this field and I will go to date and I will say simply select this one as short date and this is now done so this all data has now been arranged properly and by the way one more place that where you can you know make these kind of arrangements in this data well you can do that in the model as well this the way i have just done here or you can simply go to this uh, toolbar here this panel here and in this panel you can you know make all those adjustments from this top panel so for example if i click on country you can see that you have this data category here and you have this text format and you have this field name and the data type so similarly if i just click on this one this calendar here you will notice that we have date here if i click on this one you can adjust the format you can provide any kind of summarization if you need that and similarly if i go to the other tables here for example gl you will notice that you can if i just click on amount you will have the option to select the format and the decimals and any kind of summarization similarly if i click on date you will see that you should have the format and you should have the data type and you should have any summarization if you like so this way you can also do that in this field here as in in this panel here as well so i will conclude that this panel here is for modeling where you will actually create the relationships between data so this is basically a one-time effort you won't be coming to this screen very frequently secondly we have this panel here where you will be accessing all your tables you will be going back to your data and you will be seeing all your original data again and again and finally we have this panel here which is basically for dashboards so all our reports our visuals will be coming on this panel here so i hope that you now understand the basic overview of power bi